beautiful day for a picnic. Jeff, his sister Amy, and their mother and father are on their way out to the lake. Jeff is thinking about the fun ahead at the picnic when suddenly... On the way to the picnic again. But there are other things to think about now. That explosion when the tire blew out came as a real surprise. And to think it was caused by air. Air that seems so soft and thin. You can't even see it. You'd hardly think it's real. Yet air holds up a car and all the people in it. If you look about, you'll realize that air is almost everywhere all around us. Even though you can't see air, you can see things air is doing, blowing the branches of trees, turning the windmill. Helicopters need air to fly. Sometimes you can feel the air push back against your hand. If you hold your hand flat like an airplane wing, you can feel the air lifting it. Or tilt your hand down and the air pushes it down. What a fine place for a picnic. While mother and dad get the food ready, Jeff and Amy wander down to the lake to explore. How pretty sailboats look, pushed along only by the air. The same air is holding up the kite. There's not enough air in Amy's beach ball. Air fills up the space in the beach ball. Air makes the ball round. You can actually feel the air pushing against the ball. Somebody's been careless. That bottle could break. Better get it out before somebody hurts himself. But wait a minute. Why does it float? When the bottle is tilted, bubbles come up and it sinks. If the bottle isn't filled with water all the way, will it float? Hmm. Why won't the water go in? There must be air trapped in the bottle. Air makes it float. When the bottle is tilted, the air can get out and water can get in. That must mean that air takes up space and that air and water couldn't fit into the same space inside the bottle at the same time. Later, Jeff and a friend play a game with balloons. Jeff's dad balances the balloons. Why does the balloon feel so light now that it's been filled with air? Does it weigh less filled with air? We'll soon find out. Jeff's dad has hung the balloons low to make the game safe. The balloons balance perfectly. Look how the balloon with the air dropped down. Now you know that the balloon weighs more filled with air and that air has weight. Jeff's balloon seemed to weigh less when it was blown up because the air under it cushioned its fall. Why is the fire being fanned? Jeff's dad says it's to get more air to the fire, that fires need air to burn. What would happen if you took air away from the fire? Would the fire go out? We'll find out later. Now get ready for a surprise. Has the horse come to life? Why is it blowing up? Feels very warm from the hood of the car. Both the engine and the hot sun have made the hood quite warm. Wait a minute. What's this? Why is it going down?
put it back and see if it'll blow up again. Maybe warming the horse is what does it. What happened to the air inside the horse? To help Jeff figure it out, Dad takes an empty can and fastens a balloon to it. Then he sets the can on the fire. Can you figure out why the balloon gets bigger? Maybe you can, if you know that as air is warmed, it pushes out in all directions. It swells. We say it expands. And the warmer it gets, the more it expands. So that's what happened to the plastic horse. The hot hood of the car heated the air inside, and the horse was blown up. If heating the air in a can made it expand, will cooling make it shrink? That's it. Now it's clear. Oh boy, this is what we've been waiting for. Jeff's hungry, but he's curious too. Why does the smoke go up? It's a good question. Why does smoke rise? Well, smoke is warm, isn't it? Since warm air expands, it is lighter than cool air, so it goes up. Cool air is heavier, so it goes down. There are times when the fire isn't smoking, but the air must still be warm. Is it going up now? Let's find out. Yes, the warm air is going up fast enough to turn the pinwheel. And it doesn't turn over here because the air is cooler and isn't rising. The air that fills the sky above and is all around all of us is pushing down and around with great force. We say that air has pressure. How does air pressure make the dart stick? Does Jeff need air pressure to drink through a straw? Air pressure pushes the ketchup out and air pressure holds it in. Air pressure can help to make music. And a good squeeze of a bulb filled with air can help us have fun. What are some other ways air can be used? Can you explain why airplanes need air to fly? Sounds travel through the air. If there were no air, could we hear the sound? To stay alive, we must breathe air. Just think how often you breathe. Fish need air, too. How do they take air out of the water? But now it's time to go home. Remember when Jeff's dad brought air to the fire by fanning it? Now he uses sand to keep air away from the fire to make the fire go out. Jeff's had a fine time today. What has he found out? Air takes up space. And air has weight, too. And don't forget, when air is heated, it pushes out in all directions. It expands. But air can shrink, too. When it's cold, it takes up less space. It contracts. Air is always moving. Warm air goes up, cold air comes down. Air has pressure. It can be used in many ways. And if we didn't breathe air all the time, we couldn't live at all. Yes, you can't see air, you can't smell it or taste it, but it sure is real. Look around you. What can you find that shows what air is doing and how air is being 